There is another way you could make a video, and this is through the loom.com website. If you haven't signed up already, just choose on Get Loom for Free. And then when you do sign in, you're going to sign in with your school Google account. I'm going to choose Sign in with Google. And then, of course, you're going to make sure you choose your school account. Okay, so once this page loads, it's going to automatically go into your personal library, which is fine. That's where you should be. And you're going to click on record a video. And you're going to see a little bubble. Hi, a little bubble pops up and here you are. You could move this around to where you want it or keep it where it is. And you could also make your face bigger, which is your bubble bigger or make it smaller. Uh, make note of this little icon here. This is to change your background. So you could actually change your background to whatever color you want. Right now I'm on glitter, which is cute. Um, I think I'm gonna just keep, keep it off or you could actually blur your background, which is nice. So I'm gonna keep it on uh, blur. And now that we come here, you could choose to either record your screen or camera. Um, if I don't want my face on, I could just keep screen only. But I'm going to keep my uh, camera on. And then make sure you might see show advanced options. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to make sure that I have my control menu turned on. I think by default it's off, but I'm going to turn it on. And that is where you get these little controls here because it's going to be easier for you to stop your video. Then I'm going to click on start recording. I'm going to choose entire screen, click on share, and then I'm going to go flip back to my open house presentation. I'm going to click on present so it's bigger. And now you could see I have my presentation up, but I'm also, you could see me speaking. Um, and I think that's, that's very nice to have your face uh, on the screen while you're talking about uh, the rules and regulations and what to expect from your class. Um, once you're finished with your uh, presentation, just click on the green button down here that says finish recording. Click it and you are finished with your recording. Once you're finished, it's going to bring you to your actual recording. If you click here, you could just rename it. And you could actually trim your video if you don't like some of the, um, maybe you hiccuped or maybe there was a policeman outside your window and you don't want the noise. Or maybe you just messed up in your uh, recording. If you click on trim to trim video, Click on start trimming and then you see this this little red marker um, wherever you drag this that's going to be the part where you cut out so let's make believe i didn't like the beginning of my video uh, maybe i fumbled on my words i could cut out the part so this is the part i want to get cut out so remember this red area is what you're cutting out you're going to click on remove and then publish changes and you could still do it again. You could remove other parts of the video by clicking on trim video, start trimming, and then just move this to the part that you want taken out. So maybe I fumbled on a couple words here. Make sure you go out, go out through your video and make sure that the timing is exactly where you want to trim it. Click on remove and then publish changes. Once you're done with that, what I like to do is I like to go to video preferences. I turn off all comments, all emojis. I turn off my animated GIF and I turn off analytics to viewers. I click on save preferences and then I just choose copy link. And then you could add that link to your Google Classroom or even your teacher webpage.